a lot of Spartan means it's the ultimate warrior. So I thought, what better name? What better name to pick for the ultimate warrior? <laughs> uh, it's getting there, man. Just sort of tables and arrangements, that's all set now. And over just slightly, because just so these folk that's at their side can actually see. Good. Okay? Sam, just for an early age, has just been crazy. He actually got into boxing himself. I was dead against it. I didn't want him to box, but he took his wee bag and he went himself. I think he started competing when he was about 12. He was the schoolboy Scottish champion. He won that quite a few times and Eastern Districts champion. He won that a few times as well. I think it was Bonus Recreation Centre. He started a boxing class in there. And then he says, I'm not my mom club, and I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so every bit of advice I've gave him or told him to do, he's went the complete opposite. And he's done it all himself. All himself. <laughs> I just put out looking for sponsorship, put it out there on social media and Stephen Allison got back to me. He's the owner of the Plough and Stenhouse Muir. Came up with a few good ideas, came up, came up with a deal. The thing is about the Plough, it's a smaller venue, capacity is about 130 but it's low ceilings and the atmospheres are fantastic. It brings me back to more memories when I used to box, I used to fight in old miners clubs and fighting in pubs and stuff like that. It's got that smell to it. You know it's a fight night when you're fighting in the plow. Some speak with 7.30 and Yeah, yeah, people, easy, easy. Example, you broke on Romania, Yugoslavia, Slovenia, yeah, very, very beautiful. Um, I've been to the gym three times a week and the one time that I've like gone sick when my sister got dancing, you're, 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 this is the day that you're in. You take pictures of me, that means I get to take pictures of you. Oh no, maybe I'm all that skinny. You breathe in. Look, I've got a funny person. Who'd I be fighting? Jamie Crawford. Uh, since 2016. Four years. I wasn't really good at like football or that. I was like terrible at it. One of my pals just said, go try boxing. <laughs> Sorry, coming to the boxing classes, I really liked it. Come on, Jimmy, come on. I've had 15 fights. When you fighting next? I think at the Plough, the Scotland versus England. Nah, no, I'm eating my salad here, <laughs> whatever it is. Pasta. Pasta. Danny, judge me! I didn't want this on. <sighs> Jordan Ford. How long have you lost the About four years. Four years of Sparta? Eh, uh, yeah. Who's your favourite coach? Sam. Who's your favourite coach? Um, none. My first fight is next January. Judge me, it's called votes. What's your favourite boxing club? Rocky. <laughs> favourite boxer? Prince Nazim. <laughs> you got a fiver on you, not? How? I'll money. have five. How are you on you? Uh, yeah, you actually got a fiver. You got two fivers on your daughter. No, I've only got a fiver. Oh, yeah, shake down. Yeah, here you go. Did Sam even get that? No. I just had a wee bit of money left over for my last wage, bought a, a few cables, suspension cables, went down to a, a farm, picked up a tyre for tyre flips. I had some old rusty dumbbells and an old bike that I hung up myself. From there I just advertised my personal training. I was doing all my personal training at the start just for free. Carnage were advertising. It was a, a Muay Thai gym. It actually used to be in this very building. Colin Anderson was the guy's name. He said, I'd like to 
have a shot and I'm willing to learn so I want to give it a blast try and get my own sort of wee place one day I got a phone call he says look I'm cutting and the building's available so I thought fuck it <laughs> well young Two years. It was one of the home shows my dad took me to. Um, and then I liked to fight and then I joined Sparta. Uh, yeah, five and one exhibition. I think it's two wins, three loss. William Branson. This Friday and I got the novice. Are they your ring? Hi. I think there's somebody else called Sparky, like. Showtime, you man, showtime. So can I do my dancing? Yeah, you can do your dancing if you want. Not too much, sure, right? <laughs> Boy, Thomas. Boy. Listen, right, as soon as the bell goes, set a ring straight away. Okay. Then you come in slow and fast. Set a ring straight away. Working your jab, working your face. Okay. Okay. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Keep the elbows and hands up, Jindan. Jab. 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 Jab, jab, back hand. One two. One two. One two. One two. One two. Look. You alright? I feel a bit deep, but I'm fine. That's alright. You can ask me anything. Anything comes in steel floor. Boom. Have it. Turn off the hook. Just ask them. She's asking. You said it. You ready? Ready? It takes me a bit. You ready, man? You ready? Good evening. Get him on the showboat, mate. Let's go, go away and see him. Go away and see him. See if he's all right. Unfortunately, the ref has had to call stop this one early, but please let's hear it for both boxers, Rudy Campbell and Jordan Ford. <laughs> Katie Fox. I've been Sparta for a couple of months. My mum and my dad used to box. And my brother. Yeah, I've had three fights. Lost two, won one. I want to be the Scottish champion. Get by the punch. You suck to that side. Roll underneath. Step underneath. Well, she texted me and she was like, Did you win? I just went, Lost that. Oh, my God. Tamsin Quigley. About two years. My mum started off boxing and then I just kind of got into it through my mum. <laughs> I've had one. I lost it but it was a really good experience and I enjoyed that. Probably Josh Taylor. Who's your favourite coach? Uh, Gavin. I had to get your money to say that, but. Bye. 
Oh, once they spin, it's like it's okay? For five minutes, he left. For what? He fell on that money thing. Oh, he's not giving us his chance. My mom. Sam, see when I took Jordan and Bobby into the shops, right? There was this bunch of wee boys and that, a bit younger than me, obviously, but they were steaming. And they were like, oh, you've got a fag. And I was like, no, I didn't ask Jordan, you've got a fag. And he's like, no, fuck up. We started running and he kind of looked like he was squaring up. I was like, fuck me, I'm going to have to punch this guy. Rory Davidson. About four years. About 23. I've won about 17 and lost about 6. <laughs> Fighting this Friday at the plough. Probably Lomachenko, just for his movement and his technique. <laughs> Opened up, it was December 2013. I had a few faces, a few older guys that were with me that came from the Bone F Recreation Centre. They were never going to ever box, it was more sort of boxer size. I decided to open an amateur boxing gym, get myself affiliated. I needed some young kids. The very first boy that comes through the door was uh, young Caden McGuire. Caden McGuire. So he comes in, head down, Justin Bieber haircut. Just totally, no confidence, really, really quiet, really, really shy. When I spoke to him, he couldn't look me in the face, couldn't look me in the eye, he kept looking down at his feet. How long have you been fighting for? Five, six years. I've just came back after a year. When are you next fight? September 20th. Aye, <laughs> uh, he'll get us. Hunters of fights. Fact. The big ones, next January, that's like the Opens. That's one you want to win. And that's a goal, like, senior, Open class. Uh, that's a big one, mate. Like. 56, so like featherweight. How do you get into boxing? Well, I got grounded when I was 15. My mum said you can either go to boxing or stay in the house. So, just thought go to boxing. Uh. Awesome. Aye. Second comes along was Kane Dooley. <laughs> so he walks in. I remember saying to him, you okay there pal? Hey, looking a wee bit nervous. Aye, I'm nervous, aye. Because <laughs> the place, it was, it didn't have the neon lights, the, the pink neon lights, it was a bit of a dive. You seen the older guys pounding away at the bags. It was a wee bit nervous, rightly so. You can't do it. Four years, I think. I've not done it for about a year, but came back. What do you mean to have it? My mum. My mum got me there. Have you had any fights? Yeah, I've had about 16. I've won a few, aye. Have you got any fights coming up? Yeah, I've got one on Friday and then I don't know what else is after that. <laughs> a third was Bilal Wahid. He was the exact same as Caden. Comes in, eyes down at his feet, couldn't look at me. I was like, alright, got my work cut out here. My name's Bilal Wahid. <laughs> Watching since the gym opened since I was about 12. When I was a wee boy, I was quite hyperactive. I was always interested in sports, and my uncle just chased me from down to the gym. Came down and I've just stuck at it. 27. No, I'm not close. It's good anyway. <laughs> I think 20 of them, maybe. 20 of them are born. Friday, at home, showed the ball. Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow. Favourite boxer, it's definitely Roy Jones. 
，非常炫耀。快嘅。A couple of months down the line, we start working away with the boys. I mean, I wouldn't say they were completely naturally gifted. They, they couldn't skip. They couldn't do a, a lot right. But I always, I seen something in them. I definitely seen something in them. We just kept plugging away and plugging away, and then the victories started coming, and the medals started coming, and then every single one of them ended up a Scottish champion. Keep doing. From the blue corner, Big Hunky Ball Wahi. Harris decision for the red corner. Well done. Real box. Peter Johnston. I've had two fights. Two fights, two wins, two stoppages. Oh, he's <laughs> 
Off, man. Just go in this place. Guys, who could have started stopping? Who's your brother? Put keys. <laughs> Give me a sausage dog. It's like a documentary. Yes, on a local TV world. Me, 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 me,